Scorpio, welcome to your early to mid August reading. It's me here to take you to imagination for free. That was a terrible wrong, but you know, fuck it. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't really care anymore. Anyway, hello and welcome. As I said before, beginning to mid August reading for this current year, Scorpio. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I had actually laid out your cards before I realized my camera was not recording. Good times, you know. And I also feel like there should be way more data on my camera, but I don't know why there isn't, so, you know. That's okay, though. That is very much okay. Reasons and all, right? So, let's see what's going on with y'all. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Resonates, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It is just a card game after all. We've got the star. Wants and wishes is not to work on something with somebody. Fears and rejections. Ten of Pentacles upright this time. Actually, when I started reading it, that was reverse. It's like something with the hoe. Um, when it was reversed, I was saying you were rejecting or t afraid or in fear of, um, you know. Well, what the fuck did I say? God damn it. I can't even remember now. It was something along the lines of, um, tired of being people's stepping stools, so you left it incomplete. But this is complete, and you're still tired of being everybody's stepping stool. So, you know. Situation is the lover. Or, not the lover, is the two of cups. I don't know why I said the lover's. It's indifference, though, a, a, a coupling or a connection. See, so, you know, this was the um, ops, the final card for y'all. Want to bring everything full circle, but now that's the obstacle. Trying to get out of some fucking shit that you feel like you can't escape from. That's why you don't want to work on anything right now. Like you supported people and shit. And with bringing everything full circle, what begins this shit as well as what it will end it. Oh, it's so annoying when I sweat because, like, then no lotion gets absorbed into my body. And that's just fucking annoying. Hey, facts. Like, uh, like, I don't lotion up my body just for, like, it to reject it. I'm putting it on to be smooth and beautiful. Ugh, I hate hot weather. It just ruins my shit. Sorry, that was just a bitching moment at a moment for a time. I don't know why I did that, but it happened. Anyway. Yeah, five of wands. Everyone's fighting instead of going for the goal. No, there's no, um, there's no cohesive working together in this. Just like with the three of pentacles. No one's working together. They're all competing with each other. Where they should be all good, now not so much anymore. Beginning theme is you're still having a hard time letting shit go. Um, did I tell you guys last time that you were kind of like setting somebody up? <laughs> or getting ready to like destroy someone's life? Like, I remember there was one card where someone went, some comment where someone was just like, I can't wait to destroy this Taurus, I'm so excited, I'm just like, whoa, dudes, calm down, I know, I know, I know. They should have never insulted you and said that your ass is fat, but you know, well, that was a terrible joke, I apologize, but still, it's kind of like, you know, you remember someone from, like, kindergarten who, like, just did something mean to you, and you'll hold on to that shit forever to get revenge. Scorpios. It's probably why y'all and Capricorn get along very well. Because Capricorns are like fucking elephants. <laughs> like, we rarely forget any transgression. Anyway. Yeah, I think you want to communicate, but you're finding that there's no, there's no way of really communicating when it comes to this relationship right here. You feel like you're stuck, like, with nowhere to go to safety, and now it's like you're just basically done. Like, unless you're complying in this household, there's fighting. Unless you do what this person wants you to do, there's fighting. Unless you, like, actually go along with it, it's fighting. Like, you want to communicate, but it's like... The more... It's like the more you try... It could be Aquarius in this as well, but it's like the more you try, the more you see it's a waste of time. Oh, okay. And this lover situation is just betrayal over and over again. Like, everyone's dealing with a fucking narc. That's what I'm picking up with everybody. I like I have yet to see someone not dealing with some horse shit. Hey that you're just gonna lay back there, huh? I wonder if you even that there. My cat's my fat cat's staying under the table and I don't know why. 
Yeah, he's usually never down there, so it's kind of awkward. Uh, you know, like you want to try to find some truth, but it's just also kind of like this eagle's coming in and let you know, like, hey, get on the boat, we'll go somewhere else. And it's like you're kind of doing it a little bit of secret, right? And you think it's very fair to just leave the turtle in exchange for yourself. Like, it's just like, you know, Melvin's cool. You'll probably like him better than you will me because you treat me like shit, you know? That's how you're looking at things right now, Scorpio. Like, you don't like how someone's treating you at all. And I can see why. It's like, no matter what you do, it's always like you're getting betrayed or some shit. Like, they, it's like they coax you. Despite the fact that you got this look in your face, like you're surprised they're shoving their cup in your face, and then boom, they just do some shit again, right? So, three of pentacles in the wants and wishes. Um, you don't want to work on things. You just want to come out of this shit without any sort of damage. Like, you're trying to look at this family scenario being like, why the fuck... Do I stay in this shit? You say, I like you Scorpius, because I can actually talk some shit and you guys know exactly what I mean. You don't take it offensively. You know I'm saying shit. <laughs> you know I'm talking the right kind of vibes. That's why I like Scorpius. I can tell Scorpio anything. Like, you and Cancers are like my favorite signs. But it's probably because I got an Aquarius moon and a Sag rising too, so that probably helps. But I totally get where you guys are coming from with this completely. Um, Seven of Wands, any obstacles and challenges? Let's see, you guys are trying to escape. I mean, you're, like, you're on the right road, you just don't know how to get there. You know, um, you're leaving before, like, this shit starts up again. And this is your card, Scorpio. You want to come back alive, and you're willing to fucking go and battle if you have to in order to come back to life. I really don't remember. Like, Evanescence was so big, and then it turned out she was just nothing but, like... I, well, no, she's like No, Amy Lee is actually a really good singer. Like, the person who told me that they turned into the trash was somebody who was a trash panda anyway, so... Um, you need to learn to listen to your intuition. That's what this is. It's like, you're trying to escape, you don't know how, but it's like you're ignoring your intuition. Or there's is a high priestess involved that's giving you advice, and you're just, like, kind of like, you know, you're blowing off. If you would listen to them, it would help you get out a little more, but that's the obstacle for you. It's like you're blinded from knowing exactly what to do in this scenario. Fears and rejections, ten of pentacles, household, a little bit of completion, settle down, but down here you're at the bottom holding the piece like, oh, I'm just nothing but a pawn. Which I think that's actually the queen's piece or whatever. You're in a house, yeah, it's control thing. Everyone's dealing with a narc. It seems like in my readings as of late. Like, this person wants complete control of the fucking town, not just the house. You're just one of many servants they have. You know, this is my servant! <laughs> okay, you have to watch, um, Adult Swims. What is that called? Um, footage of a bear or something like that. I'm gonna link that in the bottom of yours, I think. That way you guys can watch it, because it's like, there's a song in there called This Is My Servant, and when you watch it, like it's like, it kind of reminds me of the person in this. It, it's like, insane. It's actually really creepy. You guys would definitely dig it. A lot. Um, Alan Resnick, I think his name is, like, is part of, like, Wham City. You, the Scorpios, you need to check out Wham City. Like, Mirror of the Children... Uh, I can't remember other ones. There's, this house has people in it. You guys, that would be... Mwah, you're in Sagittarius's cup of tea, I'm telling you. If, if you're into creepy occult shit, HP Lovecraft shit like I am, you guys will love it. I promise you. Just check it out. You will not be disappointed. Well, you might be freaked out a little bit, but after you desensitize yourself a little bit, you'll get used to all of the craziness, I promise. <laughs> Alright, the catalyst as well as what started this. How it'll start it, how it'll come full circle, how the cycle will end is the five of wands. Everyone just beating each other with sticks instead of actually like working on shit. 
you know, not going for the same goal. You know, someone's definitely trying to put you in a position of paranoia and get you to let your guard down. Or you're trying to find a way to get out with a fighting chance to do all this shit. Like, you want to be able to let your guard down, but there is so much fighting around you that you can't. You're too worried to. Yeah, you want to turn your back, dude. In the daylight at that. You want to turn your back? Because that is your card, um, Scorpio, but you're still hanging on for some fucking reason. I don't know if it's there just to exact your revenge or not, or what, but careful, please. Man, I'm supposed to get a phone call, and I don't think I'm getting it today. It makes me sad. Oh, well. So, let's see, Scorpio. Yeah, you're definitely trying to take some drastic action. You want to mourn over this shit, but you're pretty much like... <clears throat> with this relationship. It's not what you thought it was. Um, it doesn't make you happy, and it makes you feel like you can't even free yourself. You know? Very, very drastic, it seems like. Like, I really feel like you want to escape from this relationship because it's definitely not good for you. It puts you in the wrong scenario. Just, okay, I'm not going to tell you not to do something terrible. But it's like... It's kind of like this house has people in it. Like, everyone just, like, ate, ate the fucking clay-made pizza and lost their shit. Because, it, it, like, the entire plot line of this house has people in it, spoiler alert, it's basically that, um, you know, all these people were so convinced that they were sick with something that they actually made themselves sick and started turning on each other, basically. And I think that you're kind of in that scenario. I think that's what I want to title your video, Scorpio. But that's the end of your reading for the beginning to middle of August. Thanks for watching this video. If you want a personal reading, all the information is in the description box below. And I am going to link that uh, Wham City shit to y'all because I really think that Scorpio and you'll like it a lot. It, it's, I really think it's, that it's your cup of tea if you're in the weird, occult, scary, um, cosmic horror kind of stuff, right? You Like, you'll dig it, I promise. Um, like, share, subscribe if that's what you guys want to do. No pressure, right? Please take care of yourselves, and please, minimal casualties, you know, zero if possible. Not making you promise anything, but you know, it's all good. I will see you guys later. Take it easy, and bye-bye.